So I just finished reading Science, Technology, and Government by Murray Rothbard, and it's actually one of his shorter books, only about 100 pages. I listened to the audiobook version, and I listened to things on double speed. I think I finished it in maybe two hours, so maybe four-hour book if you listen to it normally. It's a really quick book. The whole topic of the book is just government funding of science and technology, and I've always advocated, like, government should not be funding science. Government should not be funding the arts. It shouldn't be funding any of these things, because... Like, people are going around saying, we need more of this. We need more government to fund this. We need government to prop this up. Why? <laughs> I mean, I was always of the opinion, and so was Murray Rothbard, that, like, the market will provide. The market will allocate resources to these things if they are deemed necessary, if they are deemed important by the people in society. Because when the government funds science, when the government funds things like this, um, researching new technologies, it is taking away resources from something else. And we have no idea what that's coming from. We're talking about the seen versus the unseen. We can see what happens when we research technology, but we don't know the unseen. We don't know where those resources came from and what they originally would have gone into if the government had not taken them and used them for science. So he makes a few arguments like, how do we know if we have enough scientists or not? Like, what should the wage of scientists? So if you look at the market and there's a shortage of scientists, the market will then make it more economically beneficial for people to go into science for people to become scientists of whatever field is needed. And because these economic incentives rise up, because it becomes more profitable, better to become a scientist, more people will fill that role. And then when we have plenty of scientists, in fact, if we have too many scientists, it'll become less profitable to become a scientist. It's just people less, fewer people will be going in science. This is the same of any other field, of any other um, industry. And when it comes to government, the same thing, government should not be getting involved in this thing because it cannot decide. What is the appropriate number? Is the appropriate number a million dollars of research a year, government funded? Is it two million? Is it a billion? Like, we have no idea. We cannot pick out this number. It is simple supply and demand. We just have to let um, the people decide within the market. Now, he did actually make the case towards the end that if the government is funding these things, if the government wants something researched, if we're going to accept that, like, the government for the military or for what other, or whatever other reason, once this thing invented, once some kind of technology to do this, the best way to do it is to outsource it to private um, private firms to, to do this research because then they will price it appropriately. They will do it for the cheapest possible price. Uh, but honestly, for just how short the book is, just read it for yourself. Listen to it yourself. I'll leave an audiobook version in the description. I like the works of Murray Rothbard a lot. I'm reading through a bunch of them right now. This is like the 15th book of his that I've read, and he's written like 30-something. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a like, subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.